Nice to meet you. This video will introduce our group, Energy Materials Lab to you. Through this video, I hope you would be interested in our group, EML. First, I'll introduce the members and performances of our group. EML has been newly established in February 2010. Since then, many graduates have been active in battery-related fields. In 2021, our lab consists of 10 researchers, 3 PhD candidates, 6 master candidates, and 1 undergraduate researcher. The name of our group's leader is Nam Soon Choi. In 2004, she got a doctorate from Department of Biochemical Engineering at KAIST. After that, she served as a senior researcher at R&D Center of Samsung SDI, until 2010. Currently, she has been serving as an associate professor at KAIST. This figure show you our group's performance from the past to the present. Our group, EML has developed various additives for electrolyte. Above all, we have introduced FEC additive to silicon anode, and established thermal instability for the first time in the world. Since then, EML has reported diverse chemicals, such as TMSO and TTE. Recently, some additives including DMVC derivative are reported. Let me show you two videos. After designing electrolyte and glove box, we make various type of cells, such as coin, pouch, and beaker type. With these cells, we assess the cycle performance of designed electrolyte. Then, we analyze the interface of electrodes, with diverse analytical methods, such as XPS, SEM, and TOF SIMS. In this part, I'll introduce the main research field of our group. The first research field of EML is lithium-ion batteries. We are focusing on three main subjects, to enhance the electrochemical performance. First of all, we have been designing electrolyte, by using various types of salts, solvents, and additives, satisfying each purpose such as fast charging performance, for high loading electrode batteries. Secondly, EML has vigorously researched on solid and cathode electrolyte interface former. Especially, our new findings like dimethylvinylene carbonate derivative, have enabled to upgrade electrolyte electrode interface, and replace conventional additives like VC and FVC, which can contribute to some problems, on battery system. Lastly, EML has focused research on developing HF scavenger, to enhance the bulk properties, of lithium hexafluorophosphate based electrolytes. To enhance the energy density of batteries, lithium metal has been considered as a promising anode material. However, its high reactivity with electrolyte causes many problems, such as lithium dendrite, and thermal runaway. To solve it, we have introduced fluorinated ether, such as TTE, and TFOFE, as co-solvent, to form mechanically robust lithium fluoride-based SCI on the anode. Specifically, TTE effectively mends the SCI cracking during repeated cycling, which enables the long-term cyclability of lithium metal batteries. Since LMB uses oxidative solvent, such as DME, we have been conducting researches, to form CEI film, prior to DME solvent decomposition above 4 volt. As a result, we reported LIDFBP, as an effective CEI former, with high ionic conductivity, on NCM cathode. Recently, we have focused on construction of multi-layer SEI, possessing both high mechanical strength, and superb ionic conductivity. As a result, we adopted LIDFBP, and LiNO3, which have different electron accepting and adsorption properties on the anode. They generate a double layer SEI, and enable to enhance long term cyclability of lithium metal batteries. The third research field is zinc bromine batteries. Zinc bromine battery is flowless battery, and it is a promising candidate for future market, in terms of high economical, stable, and scalable properties. However, zinc bromine battery has some problems, such as zinc dendrite generation bromine anion crossover, and unfavorable redox reaction by water decomposition at now. So, our group focuses on developing electrolyte, to solve these problems of zinc bromine battery. Main strategies are designing concentrated electrolyte, introducing anion receptor, and controlling physical film on electrode surfaces. With these approaches, our lab has demonstrated multifunctional electrolyte, supporting to long cycle life and high efficiency for zinc bromide batteries. Our group's another research field is electrode binder. Binder is a necessary component of electrode, and proper binder for each battery system can affect to its performance significantly. We have introduced dual binder system, combination of PAA, and CMC binder to silicon anode. 
This trial to crosslink dual binder chemically is the first time in the world. This dual binder can crosslink and form 3D connected structure at high temperature and reinforce mechanical strength of active material of the electrode. This sturdy structure of electrode releases capacity loss and structure deterioration effectively. Currently, we are researching about PVDF binder for cathode 2. This is the end of our lab introduction. If you are interested in EML, contact us whenever. Thank you for listening.